another thing I want to put on record is, you know, I don't talk about it, and they probably won't talk because people would get jealous. But every time I see Bobby, I give him a hundred pesos. I've kind of made an, an official commitment in my life whenever I run into certain people and pastors. Especially, I'm going to give pastors up to 500 pesos and other people 100 pesos, some 50 pesos. Um, you know, in America, I do food, but here, people, you know, I can't control how they spend the money. I just I just feel compelled that it's, it's an act of love and kindness, and they're here. They don't have any money. They're totally dependent upon just the graciousness of others, and... Uh, it's just a one way of really building a friendship and doing friendship ministry. So, as far as I know, all the feelings for me are good here. Although Marcus says everybody hates me, and they say that Lucille and I are living together. We never lived together here. We were here a few days, five days, is what she believes, and I remember about five days. <coughs> and then we came here a few times with uh, Tim and Miriam, and uh, we were not alone together. But what we were doing was watching health videos in there because they can't watch them in the day because the projector works good at night. So people knew we were there during the night. And uh, we don't do that anymore because it started gossip. So we're not doing that and we're being very careful. I want to, um, I want my, my life and my example to be beneficial in in ministering to the young people and to the people here more than my words <clears throat> and I don't want to condemn anyone that doesn't agree with those lifestyle principles I mean I don't think it would be a sin if I was up there with her all night long and I'm sleeping in the same bed with her <clears throat> that's more of a personal thing between us and God okay